Shalom, shalom, again from beautiful Uganda, I promise you. If you have never been to Africa, come to Uganda and you go to the Pearl of Africa, the best place of all of Africa. I've been very much around the world, but I have never seen such a beautiful country with such beautiful weather and such good fruits and such wonderful people and such faith as in Uganda. Mm -hmm. And uh, <coughs> Eddie and I are again together today, but today I'm going to mm. ask him some questions. Mm. Some questions because he has had some, some traumatic experiences in his, in his life that very few people have had. Mm. And I want to know how he handled them. Mm. <coughs> so Eddie, mm. for example, I want to ask you, when we, you were kicked out of the house yes. at an age of three and a half, four years, mm. Where did you sleep? What did you eat? What did you wear? Uh -huh. <coughs> so, Mama, that was very tough. First, when our, my, my mom died, they, we, after the burial, we had to come back yeah. where we were staying. Yeah. And then the landlord said, <coughs> you have to go because your mom, been, she's been sick for almost a year, yeah. and I have to sell <coughs> all the belongings inside so that I can take out my money. <sighs> and that made us go and start sleeping on the street. But there and then, we went out, he just gave us a day, next day we left, we went, we started sleeping outside in the, in the town, you know. But uh, we were taking care of the women that are sell food. You go, you wash dish for them, you, do, they, you go fetch water for them and they give you food. Then after, you go and sleep anywhere you find. And did you have any clothes to change? Did you no! <laughs> in Africa, some of the kids, some of the people, not even kids, even elder, Someone can have one shot for, yeah, hey, you know, it's what I, I, that wasn't even my, pro, my, my problem. Because even when my mother, she was alive, we didn't have clothes. You could have like two, maybe two shirts or two pants, and one is for going somewhere if you are visiting, maybe people, and then another one is for, like you have, you didn't have anything, ma'am. We were poor, we were, we were the poorest in the poor community. <laughs> but Eddie, huh? how? How were your feelings when they took you into P3? How old were you when they when you started P3? Not sure, but I think I was around uh, 10, 10, 10, maybe 10, 11. Okay, <clears throat> so how did it make you? You have never been in a school before? I've never been in a school before. My mom, she died when I was going to P1. Uh -huh. And then by the time I went back to study, that's why I went to P3, because I felt I was a little bit older than to P1. Because by the time my mom died, I was going to P1. So someone took, came to take me back to school. I was selling milk. I was selling milk to someone. And he <coughs> told me that, why are you working at a young age? I think I can take you back to school. To school. <coughs> I told Wonderful. him, yes, thank you so much. That's what I want. I was so excited to go back to school. And then now he, when he asked me which class, I told him P3, because <laughs> I found, I felt ashamed to tell him I was the P1. But because even, even in P1, I was there for only one time. Uh -huh. Yeah, so <coughs> I couldn't go back there because it was a little bit longer before my, after my mom died. Yeah. yeah. Mm. It wasn't immediate. <coughs> yeah. So, Eddie, how did you connect then with the teaching material in P3? And that how was that? That was very tough because I didn't know how to write. I didn't know anything. I learned everything in those three terms. The first term I was among the last. <laughs> last, <laughs> last, last. Because I didn't know anything. Uh, I didn't know anything. Uh, I was supposed to be in P1, but I was P3. Yeah. But good enough, I, I worked so hard. The third term, I was among the, I was about uh, around 25th, 24th, out of 60 in a class. In second term? In second term. And in third term? Third term, God made a miracle for me. Because the person uh, I was staying with, they told me, if you don't uh, go to another class, we are going. We will stop you from going to school because we are doing a lot to pay for your school fees. So we will not manage if you're not working hard. I had to work so hard. God they made me luck for me. They, they, I was. Uh, they looked for number one to give them a gift. It was book and a pen. Number one wasn't around. Number two. Number three. Number four. Number five. Number six. Number seven. And they said if we read number eight and it's not around, we are going to take back our gift and we are going to continue. And all these other children did not go they to did school? Not, they do not attend. They did not the attend. third term, <laughs> the last term. Yeah. Everyone has to be at school so that you take the report. Amen. These seven people never attended. 
And who was the number eight? Myself. <laughs> they read number eight, it was me, and they gave me pen and a book. Was this the first present you ever received? The first ever present I ever received from God. Wow. I felt so encouraged. I felt so good. I knew now I've catched up. I'm going to be number one. I was working for number one. And I knew <laughs> that if I continued in P4, I was going to be number one. Mm -hmm. But unfortunately, the person that was taking me to school, he got a problem. You know, they won him in a court. He had a lawsuit. And then <coughs> he dropped me back on the street. Otherwise, I wanted so bad to continue. I had already in the system, and I knew now I've catch up. I'm on their level. Let's go. I wanted to be number one, but I, yeah. I didn't make it, and <coughs> that's where I went back on the Well, you didn't make it in P4, number mm. one, but mm. you are number one now in Uganda. Number one everywhere. <laughs> number, number one in the music. I've really succeeded musically. Yeah. And I thank God that I went through all that life because it has taught me a lot. Yeah. The reason why I'm who I am today, it's because of the problems and the challenges yeah. I've faced. You know, that is something that really, really touched my heart. Mm. Because you remember we were in a, in a group and mm. that person asked us what mm. shaped your life the most. Mm. The most. Mm. And I said, the books that I read, most of all the Bible, mm. and the people that I met, mm. and the, the biographies that I read, you know? Mm. When I read bi biographies of people, that, their life stories, I said, if God could make it with them, he could make it with me. But mm. when they asked you what uh, what changed your life? What what made you the person you are? You said yeah. all the problems we went through. Yeah, of course. All the challenges. All you went the through. challenges I went through, they humbled me so much, and they are still humbling me. And it, I think it is the reason why I love children, okay. kids so much. Yeah. I suffered a lot when I was a kid. Yeah. Christmas could come, people eat food, they are having fun with their kids. Me seated there, hungry. I don't have anyone to call me like come and eat. Hungry, hungry. Did you go to garbage heaps sometimes? Mama, uh, we have did anything. There's a lot, <laughs> Mama. I can't even speak when I'm in front yeah. of a camera. But you should. You should because it shows people that you, you can never be too low yeah. to not rise up. Not okay? rise up, yeah. yeah. And that's what I can assure people. Uh -huh. God lifts people from the poorest. Amen. Amen to somewhere where they can even be able to help other Amen. people. You know, one of our teachers in one of our classes asked in the primary school, uh, or, or told the children, you know God loves the poor so much, very much. And the little boy raised his hand and said, what do you want to say? He said, is that the reason why he <laughs> made so many he made of them? So many of <laughs> <laughs> but he does, and God is so proud of the poor that he lifts themselves. Amen. Amen. The moment he recognized and, that I'm, I don't wait belong a minute. here. Jesus was even poorer than you. Wow. You were not born in a stable. Yeah. He was born in a stable. Wow. He was a refugee wow. in Egypt. Wow. Jesus had all the poverty levels in his life. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And he can totally identify with yeah. you. Yeah. Now, now you tell us how it was when you went to, to uh, S1. That S1. was the, yeah, S1. Been the, even the greatest. Same, th same, same thing <laughs> happened to me. I didn't want to tell people that I was a, a P3. So, Mama, my first day in senior one, it was very hard because I was a P3 dropout and then I went, came straight to senior one because I felt so ashamed. I couldn't tell these people that I was a P3. I told them senior one. They took me to senior one. I started. I remember the first day in class. I'll never forget about it. <laughs> I waited for the teacher to write on Blackboard so that I can copy the notes. Teacher was busy walking this, the class around, say, talking, and then kids were writing. I didn't know what's going on. I asked my friend. My friend told me, this is called dictating. Now the lesson is going on. It has been going on the last 25, 30 minutes. I <laughs> felt so bad. That was a surprise to me. And that's when I knew now I'm on another level. I cannot do this. I went outside the room, with the classroom. I started crying. But some of my friends, they kept on encouraging me because they loved me. I was a good soccer player. They told me, stay, just you catch up. We'll teach you what to, uh, about senior P6 and P7, you know. Mm -hmm. They told me, we'll try to take you through. So every break and maybe lunchtime, they take me through. And I started catching up. By second term, uh, I worked so hard, I passed on, but on probation. 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 <laughs> I kept on uh, being promoted on probation. Like, 
Pull up your socks. Pull up your socks. Pull up your socks. <laughs> but God is good. After when I reached senior three, I had to stop it because I didn't have a pass slip, you know. Yeah. I, did, I could not continue. That's why I stopped my school life <coughs> and I went back on the street life. I've done so many jobs, ma'am. I've done almost everything in my life. Yeah. All the street work. I know anything when it comes to street life, I know everything. Yeah. But let me tell you, there's a psychiatrist who made a movie and I want to get a hold of that movie. Mm. And he says, every child is born extremely intelligent. Mm. And because of the schooling, mm. at the end of schooling, only 2% extremely wow. intelligent. Wow. So they never destroy to intelligence. Yes, <laughs> God is good and I, I no, believe. I no, no, believe, really. Mm, School I, gives knowledge, but not wisdom. not wisdom. And you have a lot of wisdom. God is good. God, I've managed to, to hustle for myself. <laughs> I'm, I'm changing the lives for my family because I don't know anyone on my mother's side and I don't know anyone on my father's side. Uh, it's only me and my two kids and my brother's kid and my two sisters. But I've managed at least to pave a way for them. They, 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 at, at least they have a family where they belong. We're no longer familyless, you know. Okay. And I believe God is so good. God has done us well. And I fought a very big battle, but God has been there for me. I thank God for, for everything I've gone through in life because He has made me even meet you, Mama. If it wasn't all this I've gone through, I shouldn't have been sitting with you today. No, so right. I'm, I'm so thankful and I'm, right. uh, I'm blessed. And I'm even thankful for Corona. Yes. Because you would be traveling around the world Everywhere, and yes. I would meet him. <laughs> it was because of Corona that I he was know. locked up in Uganda. I know, mommy. Yeah. Mm. So you know what I want to tell you, Eddie? Mm. You may not have been in, in earthly schools, mm. but I do believe that all your life you have been in the University of the Holy Spirit. University of the Holy Spirit. University and of Understanding. On the, yes. Mm. Of wisdom. Mm. Of wisdom. And what I appreciate so much about you, you have always decided not to not to ever hate. Uh, no. No. You, you, you have decided to never hate, yeah. no matter what they do to you. Mm. And this to me is a decision that very few people make. Yeah, it's not good to hate. Just to remove the hate space in your heart. You can dislike but not hate. Yeah. You know, hating is very bad because God has never hated us. We've yeah. done, we've been wrong almost every day, every minute, every time. But whenever you go to God and repent, God will always forgive you. So if you don't forgive and for, you know, you've never been forgiven. You yeah. know, what, what goes around comes around. You reap what you sow. Just know that. Yeah. And I've been being so careful about that. Mm -hmm. If any when people do me what, I forgive them and I just know, oh, that one is not good for me and I distance, but I don't hate. And mm -hmm. even on street, I've never stolen people's <laughs> money. What I used to steal, maybe it was food. You would feel so angry, you feel like you want to die and go uh, order for food they give you after eat, you run. But not because you're a thief, but because you don't have anything to yeah, eat. Yeah, yeah. You know? <coughs> and every restaurant that should find a child yeah. that eats and runs <laughs> should be fine. <found laughs> yeah. Because we are responsible for the poor. Yeah. Jesus said what we are doing to the least we are doing to himself. He said, I was hungry and you fed me. Yeah. Amen. Yeah, no. And Eddie, that is to me such a wonderful, well, it is a reflection of your heart mm. that you now take care of over a hundred street children. Yeah. And that you give all your money to the poor. Yeah. You know, I mean, I've s seen very few people that come out of your lifestyle and never detach themselves yes, from these people. Yes, ma'am. But love them and help them and give yeah. them and give them hope, give mm. them even, you know, you, you, are, you are a hope bringer to these people. Yes, ma'am. These young people in Uganda or in the world, they see you, they know your story and they, they need to know more even after about your story. Yeah. And they say, if Eddie made it, God oh, will make yeah. it with me. And that is it. And God is so good to me because, <laughs> Mama, let me tell you, I'm not rich, you know. You're but very rich because you have a rich father. Amen. I'm very rich. <laughs> and... Uh, <laughs> Uh, I, I, I just share the little I get from my YouTube, from shows, yeah. and I share with these people, with the children, because I've gone through a lot that I don't want anyone to go through, most especially the kid. I suffered a lot. Because me, I've been imagining myself when I was, I learned, I got someone who taught me how to speak, to, to, to speak good English, maybe to learn some languages that could help me when I travel, to do interviews, you know, right now I speak English, but it's bad. 
So if you know, if I got someone to take me to a guitar school and I learn how to play guitar, you know, if I got someone to, to help me in one way or another, you know, I would, should have been more professional, you know, but God is so good that I've managed to reach where I have reached and I'm looking forward to go more. So I don't want kids to go through what I've gone through. That's why I work extremely hard to make sure that uh, I simply their lives. Street is bad and yeah. everyone mm -hmm. deserves a hand. Yeah. And I do trust, Eddie, that what you have seen so far in your life mm. is just a small beginning. Yeah. That your life will multiply in millions Amen. of children Amen. around this world Amen. that need a testimony yeah. where they see that you came from nowhere yeah. to somewhere to for some, everyone. For somewhere for yeah. everyone, yeah. And, and when they see you, you release in them faith, you release in them hope. You release in them something that no other person can give them with pure words. God is good, mommy. Because God is your good. words are backed up with your life. I'm so thankful. Yeah. 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 And I, I'm very thankful that God has prepared a son for me in such a hard way. But I do trust that I can be a mama. Amen. And you will never be alone. Amen. 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 <laughs> Amen. Bless you, mom. Thank you. Thank you so because, much. Because, you know, even with my life, and many needs for my childhood mm -hmm. were met much later yeah. by people that gave me, without me asking them, what I have longed for all my life, mm -hmm. you know? Mm -hmm. And uh, if, if God allows me, I want you to be totally, totally healed. Amen. And that there's nothing in your life anymore that you Amen. look back and it hurts. Amen. 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 It's just scars. Yeah. But no pain. Yeah, I have a lot of scars because of my problems. You see, everywhere yeah. there is scar almost everywhere. Yeah, there's a lot of them. Everywhere. Uh -huh. And even on my legs. I will only look at the scars and I'll be like, oh, I went through this. <laughs> but you know, there are also scars in our souls. Okay. And God wants to heal those also. Yeah. yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah, I do believe that God has really great plans with Eddie. <coughs> and uh, we can see that the hand of favor, the hand of love, the hand of protection is on this wonderful African man that has dedicated his life to be a solution to the problems of this world, not another problem. So, Eddie, thank you. Thank you, ma'am. Bless you. Amen. <laughs>